Hello everyone and welcome to this brand new video. Today I'm going to show you how I'm making those blueprints. So they're quite easy and all you have to do is start taking your laptop or PC, desk, computer, whatever you want. Plug it in and then we will be able to start. Also please subscribe and like so you will get the notifications when I upload a new video because these videos can be useful. So open your PC or desk computer. Always make sure you have a pen with you and turn the PC on. Mouse can be useful for this job because doing it with those touchscreen mouse is really annoying. Just open Google Chrome, be patient and then type the plane you wanna build and then just blueprints after you type the plane name. Then go to pictures and then just look for a good blueprint you like. These blueprints will be important so it's good to have good information like where the landing gear is. So it says this one should be a good one but you don't actually see at the view above where the landing gear is located so it's gonna be quite hard to actually place the landing gear. The same issue with this one and you don't know about which plane it was. Here you can see the landing gear but it's kind of annoying that it was a military plane. This is one of my favorites but I want a little more information about wings. So I think I'm gonna look a little for her. But what I like about this is that you actually see the landing gear. So scrolling down looking for blueprints. Yeah, not all, not only blueprints. Like a lot of pictures. Well, I think I'm gonna go with this one. It looks very nice, so I'm just going to copy it, to copy and save, and then just paste it in my map VC10. So just give it a name that you will find it easily back. Then open the map and look for the blueprints. I already collected a lot of pictures for the VC10 because you know it would be useful. So copy the blueprints so just right click on it and select copy just like you'll see. So go to copy and just copy it. Okay once you have done that you can open Word. So open Word and then new document. It's always nice to have full screen. And now paste it. So now you have it on the screen on the page, but it's still very small. And now is complicated stuff coming. To know how wide it's gonna be, you need to have a plate. I'm using 12 sets now. So because the screen is a little smaller, the paper will be smaller, of course. So I cannot just line the plate up to see if it's an wide enough, the fuselage. So on the screen, this paper is 15.6 centimeters. So a page in real world is 21 centimeters. So just type 21 and 15.6. And then we will have 1.3, 4.6, 1.5, 4. So now you gotta see how long the 12 stat plate is and in this case is it yeah 9.5 centimeters. So 9.5 and 1.3461.4. I actually forgot 5 but anyway. So it gotta be 7 centimeters on the screen wide, the fuselage. So this was the most complicated stuff, so just make it bigger and sometimes check if it, how wide the fuselage already is, because you really want to check it, you really want it to be wide enough to be exactly on scale. Oh, by the way, this is on scale 140. So I checked it and now I'm speeding up a little the progress because this can take some time. Once you're off to go and it's good, you can take your pages. Now you got to so select point and then a reference point is very important just like I showed you because these will be important for later on 
sticking the blueprints together. So just click save as. I'm going to save it at my home page just for now and then give it a name. I'm giving it the name VC10 Blueprints View Above 1. So I'm also numbering my files because you know it's easy to find which one it is. Like I'm not going to give it like the name View Above Nose or something, that will take a long time. Once you saved it, you will be back on this page. And then the reference point is coming handy now because you know where you stopped last time. Now I'm taking a little less visible reference point, but it's still visible enough at a big blueprint like this. And just repeat this progress. So now am I done and I saved all of these blueprint pages. I've got 38 pages in total. A view from above, a view from the side, and a view from the front. I'm making three new maps for them. One for the view above. One for the side view and one for the front view. Now am I going to do all of these files in the correct maps? So just select the good files and slide them into the correct maps. This is very useful to organize your files because that way your homepage won't be full of files. Because usually when making such a big blueprint, it will take a lot of files and a lot of paper. So you gotta be sure that you have enough paper and enough ink. So now it's uh, all saved and organized. So check if all pages are in, just real quick, just like I did. So you are sure that you have everything. So now they're organized and I'm sure that I have all. Now I'm ready to print them. So just click right and just print and then it should go automatically at least when you turn on your printer so the printer will print the paper there you go I'm almost done with printing everything, this is from the view above. Next page. So when you're done, turn off your printer, you don't want it to spill electricity. And now you've got all of the blueprints, take some tape and a pair of scissors. And then just take the first page, I'm starting with the nose. And now the reference points will come in handy, so as you can see, I've got the door over there and I'm going to overlap, that's a part that's going to overlap. I'm removing the white, white part because, you know, it's a little unhandy and it won't be like a beautiful full blueprint, so you actually gotta cut a little bit. Then overlap with a reference point so you're sure that it's exactly good. Then just take some tape and stick it together. You gotta repeat this process until you're done with the blueprints. The wings might be a little bit harder because you have like more page pages to the sides, but it's all okay and it takes like 30 minutes to make a blueprint like this, but this is quite a big plane, so it's usual that it's taking quite a long time. Also, this blueprint is actually for a project that I am going to build in the future. I will tell more about it in the future in another video. I was planning to make a video about the 747, but I actually forgot to record it before I was going on with building it. So that's why I'm doing a little different of a video, but this is for sure a nice plane. And the blueprints are done, and now I can go on with the rest of the blueprints. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you could learn something about this. This can be really useful for other projects you might try 
They are not only useful for passenger planes, but also for world war planes or whatever you want to build. Build whatever you want with this tutorial, this can be really useful. Also, please subscribe, like and comment. I really appreciate it when people subscribe and, you know, share my video, that will help a lot. So, see ya and bye.